Pissed off all the traffic? I'm pissed off about a motherfucker running a three day content by the What up, nigga? You like, you hanging like that or something? What up? I'm trying to figure out why motherfuckers still running content on a conversation that got leaked from this motherfucker and keep on trying to keep on digging some shit up out my boy. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Dead homies. I don't he said on the dead homies. No joke of Burt Brady crashes. I don't know what's that on his head, but from what I heard, he about to go in. And I heard they did a jump in in, in the jumper. I'm not sure if it's true, but this is my first time watching this. So let's get to it. I don't give a fuck about nothing else. Six up. Nigga, nigga's energy is what a nigga energy is. Hey, this break. is my boy right here. Hold on, no. Three days in a row, gang. You been here three days in a row getting asked the same question after we talk. Nigga, I still ain't watched it. I don't know what I said to cuz, nigga. And what question is this? I gotta know. Her baby came in. She did. But what are you so upset about? I don't see what he's so upset about. But I don't know. Ask the question about what? A murder? This big gorilla mother. Look at him over there. With that purple, great sweater. Come on, man. I know this show turned into like the Crip show now. Every time I tune in, there's a new Crip. It's like, Adam, it's like he displaying all the Crips throughout LA. Like, right, this is really their show. It's like the Crip show. It's like some days he has Crip days, and then some days he got blood days. Like when Adam, not Adam, when Wack 100's there, it's blood days. When Brooke may be there, it's Crip days. Adam, Adam, little smart dude, man. I, I, I can't lie, man. He's, he is, wow. Let's see what they talk about. I was hiding, than motherfucker. That ain't no excuse, nigga. I know one thing. The first time I asked you, first time I picked up the phone, I said, bro, I could remember one thing only that was derogatory that I said. Did I or did I not? Speak on it. On 6 so Crip. Everybody else, like, it's cool. Like, all this shit, it was a Monday show. It was a show yesterday. I love you, Adam. I'm not tripping off of you. It, it ain't nothing like that because a nigga frustrated right now, bro. Because y'all digging shit. If a nigga say he ain't going to watch it, a nigga ain't going to watch it. And the nigga who leak it is fuck a nigga forever. And any nigga that ride with cuz on the dead homies, it is what it is, nigga. On 6 so Crip, nigga. And me and cuz crash you niggas together. Or nigga by myself, nigga. On the dead homies. Wherever Yo, bro, like, he like, nah, bro. I, I ain't crashing out for this, huh? I, I don't know about you. You you on your own with that one. He like, nah, man. You on your own with this one, bro. I just got to do baby two. Nah, I'm good, man. And it is open and new. Chick-fil-A around the corner. Right there on Compton Avenue. Nah, I ain't crashing down. I'm, I, I'm trying to be free at least until that restaurant open. Brick Baby going to be the only one crashing out. Yo, but it seems like they talk about some gay, some gay stuff. Because he said, I don't care. I don't care if y'all keep asking. Then I watch it. I don't care if y'all keep asking. Then I watch it. I ain't watching it, cuz. I ain't watching it, cuz. What you not watching, Brick Baby? Your boy getting plugged in the butt. Oh, your boy, your boy, your boy, your boy plugging a butt? Better, but he plugging a butt better than he could plug, he could plug a toilet, bro. He plugging a butt better than you could plug a toilet. Way better. So, he got the best suction ever. They used to call him King Suction in, 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 in jail. Yeah, and on on the crib unit, yeah, they called him King Suction. Mm -hmm. He was the best at it, the best. Yep. 
That I be I be saying all the time. I say it all the time. Anybody, these dudes that be like that like going to jail. They go to jail from 13, 14, 15. They in there boys on boys on boys. Well, you supposed to be out chasing the honeys. Going through your puberty stage. That's why these dudes would be like, yo, yo, I've been locked up since I was 14. How is that something dope to talk about? Getting locked up means that you, you made a mistake. You got caught. It's better to say, yo, I've never been locked up, son. That that sounds better than I've been locked up. I've been locked up myself. It just makes you look stupid. To a logical person that that thinks and does still follow the the herd. It, It sounds stupid. Because... Why would you want to go to jail? Going to jail mean that you messed up. You got caught. The detectives, they trailed you all the way to your house. How is that something to brag about? Huh. And then let me tell you. Don't be fooled, ladies. That dog right next to you, he in and out of jail. In and out of jail. And he do five years here. He come out. He do two years. Come out. Do another two years. Come out. Three years free. He might do another one year. He got caught with some with some thing he had to plea out. These dudes in and out of jail. From 14 all the way to they 40 plus. If they started getting locked up in their 20s, they get locked up from 20, 21, 22, 23. And then it, it don't stop all the way, all the way to they 40. They still getting locked up. They getting locked up. You know, man, we got testosterone. Testosterone makes us, you know what I mean? It gets the Jimmy going. But let me tell you, let me tell you that that Jimmy going when you're free, man. And when you're not a free man. And when you're not a free man, when that Jimmy get going, it ain't no girls in sight. So what you going to do, Crip? Every niggas want to meet, nigga. I don't give a fuck about no HK Turtle. I'm, I'm going to give you a shout out today, cuz. On the dead homies, nigga. On 60 Crip, cuz you a cop, nigga. You the police, nigga. You reach it. You want, nigga, you doing interviews with Alex Alonzo, this, that, and that, trying to get your shit off the ground. On the dead homies, you got the address, nigga. To right here, right now, like y'all pulled up the last time, nigga. Niggas pull up. On the dead homies, pull up, nigga. Damn. Damn. Would you let the dead homies rest? That's, that's the whole purpose of R.I.P. Rest in peace you keep calling the dead homies you keep waking them up on a dead homie on a dead homie on a dead homie the dead homies down there like yo bruh we heard you the first time bruh can we get our eternal nap ones <laughs> damn on six so cause ain't no forties coming to the sixty pushing no issues. Nigga on roll the sixties, nigga. Ain't near forty coming to the sixties, nigga, with no type of drama, nigga. On SC, nigga. Only forty come through that motherfucker is Pee Wee and Lil Vernon, nigga. Dead homies, nigga. Nigga, if you niggas got underlying conditions, nigga, hate the hood, nigga. On West Side Roller, say that, nigga. On the dead homies, cause y'all know what it is, nigga. And a nigga play ball. Bitch, the only reason I ain't come outside kill one of you niggas cause cause I was in front of these white niggas. Dead homies, nigga. Me and the homies would have crashed, nigga. Wait. Are you trying to say that all white people are snitches? He said I ain't kill one of y'all cause I was in front of these white eggs. You trying to say all white people snitches? 
You know what? They are. And they're smart. That's the problem with the the brown community. The minority community. <laughs> Y'all don't want to snitch. I know somebody get killed next to me and I know who did it. And I seen who did it. Guess what? I'm telling because my kids are here. My family's here. My friends are here. I want no killer living around me. Or no robber living around me. Or nobody stealing living around me. Or no living around me. No way. No way. I don't think so, nigga. I don't give a fuck about none of that, nigga. Shout out Devil Donut, nigga, in my real 40s, cuz. These niggas 68ers, though, nigga. I don't think so, and this my homeboy, nigga. On the hood. And whatever me and my homeboy gotta go through, nigga, to clear what we gotta clear, nigga, on six so he gonna always be my homeboy, nigga. It don't matter whatever it is, nigga. But the energy that, nigga, from now on, nigga, keep on running content on my name, nigga. I'm putting kill squad in the street. Nigga on six so. Y'all forgot I had chili, nigga. Nigga, on six so, nigga. Go, go, go look up, nigga. What 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 shit he worth, bitch? Dead homies, no, nah, nah, fuck all don't that. Give don't nigga. give him too much. Don't give him too much. No, nah, nigga, I niggas ran content three days I think in a row. The nigga, fuck a nigga in their mama, nigga. I think that's Dead the homies <laughs> in their kids, nigga. Six so, nigga. I'm tripping, cuz. Cause they keep on trying to, they digging. I know it didn't work. I see the same Bro, thing, cuz. Ain't that nigga asked for a fade from you? Every nigga that got on the phone with you turned it down. You niggas scary Larry ass niggas, cuz on SC. Niggas picking and choosing. Nigga, you picking and choosing, nigga. Dead homies, you niggas want to have something to say about me? On the dead homies, I really boogie down on SC. Stop playing with me. Nigga, I don't give that energy up here. Bro, I'm the boogie man. You niggas know. You bitch ass niggas from the hood that keep talking. Y'all know why y'all talking, cuz. Cause the boogie man spoke, nigga. And y'all scared, nigga. You niggas want to do shit on camera. But it's over with. I'm, I ain't finna keep going up, nigga. But the energy is what it is, cuz. And on the dead homies, send the link to cuz. On the dead homies, be outside, nigga. Play that shit today, nigga. On SC, nigga. On hood, they gonna be calling your ass little Draco, nigga. Dead homies, and it is what it is. You niggas the cops, nigga. Dead homies, nigga. And the nigga who posted the other shit about me and a blick, nigga, cop. Cop ass whack, bitch ass whack, nigga on the hood calling me Mr. AK-47. Bitch, I got open cases, nigga. Nigga, stop playing with me, cuz. On the dead homies, I ain't going. I ain't leaving my kids for nothing, nigga. Six up. Niggas said, better man. stop playing with me, cuz. You doing good, man. I met you in the jail, man. They Come on, bro. Like, like, bro. I like straight up. I like niggas out, nigga. Yeah, right next door to me, man. He know what's going on, man. So. Come on, cuz. On Look. six up. Niggas keep playing them internet game now, nigga. Ball in your court, nigga. SC, nigga. Niggas hate the hood. Say something, nigga. Yeah. yeah. I like this podcast. I think that's, I think that's. Nigga, on SC, I think that's hate about the, hood, the energy. Nigga, on hood, nigga. Stop tapping me, cuz. Tom, what's up? That shit, nigga. I, I know, bro. I know, on hood, stop tapping me, nigga. Nigga, they gonna see this real look, energy. Look, yeah, you be with me all the time, cuz. I know the truth. On hood, I already crash shit. You know the truth. I know the truth. You said, you know, look, you said, you said enough to niggas, cuz. Don't. Bro, that shit got me hot, nigga. He's down. You know what this is? This is a very good example of a boy just like myself that was raised in the hood, most likely single mom. Don't know how to control his emotions. You know, didn't really have a, you know, stern father figure in his life, you know, to, to guide his anger. Because as you can see right here, this is classic grown man hampered tantrum. He's going through adult toddler syndrome, which is what you see right here in front of you a grown man acting like a kid yo don't touch me cuz and they and it's like this world this world they have it's like a world it's it seems like the world is so big but it's not 
it's this world, this gang world they got. It's like so, it's like, it's like childish in a way. <laughs> you know what I mean? No disrespect. No disrespect. No disrespect. Trust me. Shout out to my bloods, my crips, everybody out there. All my gang members. Love you to death. All my homies. But I'm telling you, when you were, when you, when you in the mid twenties, thirties, and then you in the mid forties, man, come on, man. 30 something years old, man. You're still in this imaginary world. It's like a it's like a board game of bloods and grips. It's like a board game. Red on one side, blue on one side. Or if it's any game. GD, disciple, whatever it is. Black disciple, whatever it is. It's like a, it's like a board game. One side, got one side, represented by a color, red, then you got blue, and it's, you just moving checkers on, it's like chess, you just play chess. A lot of them play checkers though. That's the thing. That's the thing. You see the mob? Not just the Italian mob. The Jewish mob, the Irish mob. Yo, they was very, 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 very. They played chess. They played chess. Then at the end, they didn't, at the end, they started playing checkers. That's why the mob in New York got took it, took it down the way they got took it down. They was playing checkers at the end. You got to continue playing chess. You got to know what, what key to move, what man to move, and when to move. Sometimes not the time to move. Patience. And that's what a dad teaches you. That's what a father teaches you. Patience. Hold up. You said enough. You said enough. Yeah. Cause, cause really, you know, niggas can't even tell who homies at this point. No, like, no, no, but no. Okay. This, this is my thing, gang. And you know, I love you. This, this is what they want, right? So they got uh, it, nigga. Use no, a bitch, nigga. So, pull up, look, nigga. Look, nigga, put your gonna, life on the no, line, nigga. But, but look, I'm sick, so put your me, life on the line, nigga. Me, I'm gonna ask see over here, nigga. Stop playing for I, know, I really do I know, it. I know, I, stop telling me about them, bro. I know, I know. I really do I know, it, cuz. Bro. Stop, stop talking to me about them. Man, cuz I'm Man, sick, shit. so crib. Stop playing with me, cuz. On the hood, don't nobody tell me nothing, nigga. Don't nobody tell me nothing, nigga. On six, so stop. You know what? And what you're seeing right now, we not really supposed to be seeing. There was a time, my time, during the 90s when you, you couldn't see this. Like you saw it on TV, but it wasn't this. This is authentic. This is this is how dudes reacting on the block. If you know anything about the block, then you can relate. If you don't know nothing about the block, then you can't relate. Forget about what you've seen on TV. I'm talking about the block. Like you on the block. You're not turning to a channel watching the block or pressing a, a, a click on a, on a YouTube channel watching the block. Or you go and visit the block for a few weeks or a few months or a year, a year at a time. I'm talking about you on the block. You born on the block. You raised on the block. Did everything on the block. He kissed your first girl on the block. 
sold your first pack on the block. Ran from police the first time on the block. The block. The block is where you put used to put the fire hydrant on. In this bed. And watch the honeys just watch the water just glisten off their skin. And we little boys at the time just watching, holding our sack. Like, yeah, yeah, I wanna I wanna bang Keisha. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a bang Keisha by by the end of the summer. We plotting. Doing what little boys do. But I tell you right now, what we seeing on the screen, this is a this is a little boy, grown man, a little boy, still in imaginary land. Grabs bloods. That shit is all imaginary. It's all to put out, put each other against each other. Put each other against each other. Anything, anything that's negative, they're going to prop it up. Anything that's negative that could that could be affected towards the brown community, they're going to prop it up. Girls acting like strippers and they don't want to go become lawyers and doctors no more. They want to they want to start YouTube channels and only fans. They want to start YouTube channels and OnlyFans. That's all they want to do. And date scammers. That's all a lot of them want to do. You got to let them do it. All of us got to go through our, our trials and our tribulations. Stop giving them niggas the address, Steve. Stop giving them niggas the address, Steve. Calm down, break. Oh, uh, chill out. Stop giving them niggas the address, nigga. Man, I'm like, what? Nigga? Hey. Oh, hood, you a part of the security team, nigga. Stop giving a fuck niggas the address. Nigga, I just told you, stop talking to me while I'm mad, nigga. Oh, and C, stop talking to me. Nigga, on Roman 60, stop talking hey. to me, nigga. Hey. Man, stop talking. Wow, they just stopped the show. They just paused the cameras. Like he, he, he dude is thinking that he's he's in the streets right now. He's that, that's the problem when you in them streets, man. The streets just take over you, man. It just takes over you. It's very hard to shake it. It's very hard to start selling drugs and stop. It's very hard to be out there stealing and robbing and stop. It it just becomes you. And that's what we see right here with Brick Baby. The streets just became him. Look at him now. He's all over media. You know what I mean? People people know know his name more as far as celebrity status. People like me know him. I didn't know him back before. Before they said he was a rapper and you know he used to you know other rappers knew him. He was more you know into the the rapping game. But I mean, if you ask me, I could bet that so many people before that know him now. Be, that that before no joke no joker know him now because of no joker and now look at him ready to crash out because he trying to get points and he trying to show that he for the homies he for other men he for other men think about and do say yo ain't his daughter back there think about your kids think, you see that's the thing when these guys get locked up that's when they want to go, Dad, now I'm be waiting for my kids. But you just crashed out for another man. 
What is that your lover? You just crashed out for another man. Not over not over a situation that's happening right there at the spot that's violent. Over gossip. Let him do his thing, bro. We ain't got nothing to say about none of that. Gordy, stop that. Gordy. Hey, don't crash out. Yeah, Gordy. Don't Gordy, come on, bro. Don't say nothing. I'm not talking. I'm not doing no talking, nigga. I'm see, nigga. I'm not doing no talking, hey, matter nigga. Fact, look, I'm hood, nigga. I'm not doing none of that, nigga. I don't care, nigga. Nigga, they want to keep running content up here. This what y'all want, nigga. I'm hood, nigga. Niggas got addresses. Niggas got drops on me, nigga. When I drop my nuts, nigga, respect it, nigga. On the hood, pull the fuck up, nigga. I be here till nine. On rolling. Yo, he got a lot of good hood sayings. See, this is what I'm talking about. These these word plays, we not even supposed to be hearing on TV. This it in the early 2000s and 90s, the eight, all of this, you could only hear it on the block. The only time you hear this word play, you see me say, yo, y'all, y'all, y'all N words dropping the dropping dropping dimes on locations. So when I drop my nuts, don't say nothing. That type of work. You don't see what you say? Yo, pull up on hoods. Like, all them word plays. If you're not from the hood and you heard that back in the 90s, 80s, that's because you was probably you was visiting your cousins and they just so happened to live on the block. Or you got lost somewhere and you trying to find your way back to your location, which is far from the block. And you find yourself around the block. And you hear them, you hear dudes on the block tripping. We ain't supposed to hear this. The world has changed. You could literally be a young good boy at home. You don't see no negativity in your life. The negativity you see. It's minute. You probably see a father come home, slam the door, slam a coffee cup on the table. That's probably the farthest thing you see from negativity. Watching TV, you see some action movies and karate movies and shootings on TV. But now, it's all on YouTube. It's all on social media. It's all on Instagram. It's all on TikTok. And that's why right now we can able to watch somebody from the block. Block like they still on the block. Hey, we can, gotta cut can, it. Can we, we gotta cut it. We gotta cut it. We gotta cut it again. Uh, no statements. That's another week of no statements. Hey, he got his he got his daughter, don't he got his daughter with him? Yeah, he got his baby and all that. Hey, look, yeah, bro. Hey, look, come on, hey, bro. Hey, 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 let's hey, change the subject. Change the subject. Hey, shout out, shout, shout out to Brick. Hey, this, change the subject. Hey, this. Hey, 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 this been a, hey, this been an episode of No Statements. Episode number nine. No, Gordy, Gordy, just let them handle that, Gordy. Nah, Gordy, you mean Gordy need the help? Cause... Huh? Wow. Uh, come sit down.